Hi guys, I'm back. Let's make a video. Christmas in July. Sorry, it's in black and white. I had no ink left in my printer when I went to go print it out. But anyway, that's neither here or there. Let's make a video. So today is a little Christmas tree. I made two before. One in blue and one in green. So today we're going to make one in red. I'm going to bring you up. I already started. Let's go up here. All right. So I got a little bit of white, a little bit of green, and a little bit of black. I'm going to spray it. I'm going to spray this mold. And we're going to do something. So we're going to do these little leaves right here. To a tree. Can you see? I didn't even check. Uh, are you in frame? I gotta check every so often. Make sure you're in frame. Okay. Um, got little reindeers right here. Make one in black and one in white. These molds are so tiny. I'm going to make the joy in black because I always make it in white. So I want to change it up this time. I don't want it in white. I'm going to get a little toothpick and push it around a little. And get a toothpick. Just make sure when you use the toothpick that you don't go all the way down and scratch your molds. You don't want to scratch your molds. Yeah. When you scratch them, that, you know, that scratch never goes away. And every time you make something with that mold, it'll have that scratch in it. You don't want that. So these little molds, you know, the bubbles catch on to the sides. So got to make sure you... You get all those angles. If not, you'll have a little bubble stuck in it. Okay, I think I got it. And I did a black one. Let me give it a little squishy, witchy. I got that from Steve. Steve McDonald. The squishy, witchy. It works. And we're going to do a white one. Or should I do a green one? No, I'll do a white. I'll do a white. Oh, I made a mess. I made a mess. Shh, don't tell on me. Don't tell. I'll show you the other two that I made as well. But I'm not going to show them to you right, right this second. Trying to get into those little nooks and crannies. I could use a little more. It's a little on the flat side. Okay, what else? We got a little stocking here. So we'll do... I'll put a little white on the top. You know, the socket only has white on the top. And we'll do green on the bottom. Let's put a little bit more. How that look? It's cute, right? 
All right, so we'll save this. We'll we'll do something with it. I don't, I don't know what. All right, I'm gonna put you on pause, and I'm going to make up some resin. I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. I made up some resin. I warmed it up. All right. So what I have planned is, I usually put a clear coat on the bottom and I wait for it to get super tacky and then I'll lay in the embellishments and then I'll do another layer so right now we're just gonna put clear on the bottom I have a little um, micro bubbles in there but like I said I heat heated up the the resin so it's nice and warm so what's gonna happen is all those bubbles will come up and they will disperse on their own so I'm just going to do a light cover of every layer. All right. So this is the base. This is the, the ornament that hangs from the tree. So it's like a light bulb type of thing. Um, I see a little... a little black thing in there. I don't know what it was. Maybe a piece of glitter or something. But as I go along, you know, I'll stick something in there and I'll I'll get it up. Alright, let's do here. Make sure you get all those corners and you know the corners they tend to trap them little bubbles. So get your little bubbles out the corner. Alright. This one needs a little more. So anything left over that I have, I have other projects that I didn't complete that I need to complete. I'll put them in there. You know, no resin left behind. I can't waste no resin. All right, so I see a lot of little bubbles. See a little black something. No, that's a piece of glitter. At this point, this type of project since it, it is Christmas and them little pieces of maybe uh, this one is a green piece of glitter or a red piece of glitter I let it stay it's, it's, it's not going to hurt the project so it's okay Just make, making sure if you don't want to use a toothpick you can use your um I forget what these are called. Dining tools. You could use this. To make little dots. This one has resin on the other side. It's kind of it's dirty. I forgot to clean it. But this one is nice and smooth and clear. You can stick it in the corners. Make sure you don't have any bubbles trapped in the little corners. Go around everything. Make sure you get all those. Hit them corners because they will be bubbles in the corners. And if you don't get them out and pop them, you'll have little jagged edges in your corners. Instead of having nice smooth surface, you'll have them little jagged corners because of the bubbles. So, I'm trying to make it... Uh, as near perfect as we can because you know nothing is perfect especially when you're dealing with resin so I'm gonna give it a little spray I'm also gonna get my heating done sorry for the noise and I'm gonna hit it with the heating gun This also will pop the bubbles and also warming up the resin even more will hasten the curing process it will go quicker much quicker All right. so I'm gonna let this get a little tacky and I'll be back and we're gonna put our embellishments in there alright so give me a second I'll be back 
Okay, guys, I'm back. So it's kind of sticky. Let's, let's, let's give it a, a test shot. Let's stick something in it. It's sticky and it's giving me like a long piece. It's extending, but it, it's still soft enough that you can lay things in it. So we're going to start laying stuff. We're going to start with the base. Move this over. Let's start with the base. Alright, so I got this this big giant snowflake. Alright, I'm gonna put it right here. See how it it is laying in there, and you can see that it has penetrated the resin, but it didn't sink all the way in. So that's good. Alright, and I'm gonna put this little reindeer. I'm gonna put the reindeer right here like it's trying to land and let's see got a little bell put the bell right here in this corner got a reindeer I don't want to I don't want to overdo it so maybe I'll put the reindeer at the bottom of here the bell let's see what else a little stockings, a little stocking, a stocking right here, maybe up some right there, and a little star, a little star right there, a little tree. Little embellishments. I'll put the tree right there. Okay, so that's good enough. So now I got a mixture here. I got some red holographic chunky glitter. I got some fine holographic red glitter, extra fine. Then I have here is a mixture. I got it off of SD a long time ago. It has trees, Santa Claus, um, gold beads. Um, clear beads, um, like pearly beads, and snowflakes, and it has like um, red, white, and green, like confetti type of things. So I put it all together, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna feed it into the bottom of all of this. It's going to stay, it's going to hold because the resin is not completely cured. It's, it's still soft, so it'll make everything stick to it. Put some over here. Some over here. Not going to put too much because we don't want to overdo it. But just enough. Right? And then when we put the next layer, you'll be able to see the next layer through the bottom. Right? We're going to come over here and put some of this as well at the bottom here. And I'll make whatever you put there stand out. Hopefully. Right? So we got the bottom of that. So let's see what we're going to do with the tree. Put this over here on the side. Let's bring the tree over here. Then I have these big giant snowflakes. See that? They're big giant ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a big giant uh, gold one. I saw a few in here. Here's a nice big giant gold one. And I'm going to put this one right up here at the top of the star. I'm give me a toothpick so I can lay it down. You hear my dog in the background? Please excuse her. Okay, that's good. And then we're going to get some of this mixture and just douse it a little bit on the top. Just, just, just a little bit. 
and we're going to do a little bit on each tip right here. Gonna do all the bottom. The bottom you don't have to worry about so much because it's gonna go in the base. So you're not really gonna see the bottom, but you could do the tips of that bottom. Give it a little tap so those things can go in. Then we can find some other things to put up in there. Um, let's get, then I have these other snowflakes. It's a cute. So we can just throw these in there like that. Just random. No specific order or color. What you think so far? It's too thick. You need to move anything around. Right. And it's good when it's really, really tacky like this. Because once you put it down, it's not going to move. It's just going to hold its position wherever you put it. You hear my dog? Oh gosh. Please excuse her. She's um, a Yorkie. If you make any southern moves, she's on you. <laughs> she likes to play. She's, she's no harm to her. All she wants to do is play, play, play. She wants you to rub her. Give me a second, guys. I got a call. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, now we're going to do the next layer. The next layer is going to be a frosted white. So, for the white, I use my Unicorn Art Satin White Magical Mica Pure Pigment. This thing right here, you know, every time I, I mention this, I tell you that I'm in love with this. I bought like five jars at one time. I'm down to one. I have one jar that I have not touched. And this one, I killed it. There is hardly nothing left. They're still doing fireworks over here where I live at. Oh my gosh. Anyway. So if you hear boom in the background, that's them. Then, this is about three ounces. Three and a half ounces. And then all the whites that I have, I put them all together and I made my own blend. And I put seven of these little spoons in there. Seven. So this is done. It's warmed up. I'm just making sure I incorporate. Because this, this, this satin white, you have to mix it. You have to make sure, scrape it and everything. If not, it won't dissolve all the way and you'll have little pieces of white undissolved in your resin piece. And I don't want to see that. Not today. So here we go. We're going to pour some in. I'm going to start right here and cover that up. So this piece... You can fill it up all the way if you like. If not, you don't have to. 
uh, but I'm, I am going to warn you, if you do fill it up all the way, this piece becomes really heavy. And then when you hang it from the tree, the tree tends to lean to the side. And when I show you the other ones that I've made, after we fill this up, I'm going to explain to you what I did for, for it not to lean to one side. Subscribe. All right, so here we go. Let's fill this up. Oh, I'm making a mess. Make sure you hit them corners. Especially right here where you have that little nib. Make sure you get in there. Because if you don't, then you're going to have a missing piece to that nib. And then you won't be able to hang your tree correctly. If you understand what I'm saying. Because it'd be hollow. This piece in here. So I usually take something and I make sure I go all the way around it. So I didn't miss no spots. And then the rest, we're going to put it in here. Mm, I made a boo boo. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I made a boo boo and I was fixing it. So what I did was. I put the joy in, but I put it in not mirrored. So the joy was facing me. The joy wasn't supposed to be facing me. The joy was supposed to face it outward. So when we demole it, you can read it correctly and not backwards. <gasps> I'm a dodo bird. What can I tell you? I didn't mean to do it. I'm sorry. Okay, so now I don't know. I'm going to have a little bubble on the side. I can't get it out because, you know, I lift it. I can't get that bubble out. I'm trying to like all together just remove it. But um, I don't know. But anyway. There's no mistakes in resin. It's just modification. That's what I say all the time. That's what I say. Alright. So let's pour it. And cover this up. I don't know if I have enough. Oh gosh. I just made it y'all. I just made it. Alright. I'm going to put a little bit more here. Then I'm going to spritz it with some alcohol. With some isopropyl. And then the background, I don't know. I'll figure it out later. My phone has been going off the whole time I've been trying to do this. Usually, not a phone call, not a bleep, not a nothing. Today, I'm trying to make the video, and everybody's calling, texting, bleeping, notifications. Jeez. Cheese Louise, I tell you. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to put you on the pause. And I'll be back in a little while when this is tacky. And then we're going to put the background. And it'll be all over. Okay. And then we're going to demold. And I'm going to, sh when I come back and we put the next layer, I'm going to show you the other ones that I created. And Y'all let me know in the comments if you like or not. All right? So I'm going to pause you. I'll be back. Okay. So I filled it up. I did a red backing. It's really watery right now. It's really uh, fluid. So I'm not going to stick nothing in the back. I'm going to stick like some these big snowflakes. But I don't want them to sink so I'm gonna wait a little while and I did some extras so we'll we'll demold that as well there's a little heart trinket box so and the little jars that I've been in love with let me show you this is one of them oh, you see what I just did right so this is one of them and this is the heart one and this is another one 
I've been doing these. All right. So when I come back, be molding. I'm back. I got some cool jazz music playing in the background. There's a lot of noises in my house today. I got the air. I got the AC. I got my husband in the background uh, washing clothes because my studio is connected to the kitchen slash laundry room. So it's a lot of noises. So please excuse me. But we getting ready to do this demolding. Hold on. Let me lower the music. Okay, so this one I just poured it is the bottom to the trinket box. But we're gonna do the lid portion. All right, here's the tree, here's the stand. This is something that I had to complete. Then I did a couple of things that I had leftovers with. So we're gonna do it. This I can't touch, that is super duper duper wet. <laughs> so let's start off with the little trinket box. This is the, the top portion of it. And I'll let you see it and then I'm gonna let you know what I'm gonna do with it so this is the inside of it it's just leftovers so you know I don't want to discard the leftovers you know you can make something with it now this I never like the poor portion of this because it's so open I wish it was like reverse so this is on the inside and when you Demold. This is nice and smooth, but it, it's not like that. So, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna finagle it. So I got my little birds. You know I love the birds. Let's find a um, entry point so I could demold. So what I was thinking about is putting one of these birds on the top, and it's gonna be like where you grab it and lift up. So it could be this one. I have another one that I made. I, I like it better. So I think I'm going to put this one. The, the colors match better. What y'all think? Put it there and then this, you can use it to lift up the lid. I don't know. You tell me. All right, let's demold the other one. I always be more from the head. These came as a matching set. I like this one. This one is fabulous because it has the little gold pieces in it. I don't know if you can see it. This one is cute. So, so I don't know, it will be either this one to lift up the box or this one. I'll figure it out later. I'm not gonna put both. I think it's it's just too much. This is part of my trio of little people. Let me put a little alcohol in here. And give it a little twist to break the seal. And then I squeeze from the bottom. This is the best way to get these men out. They just pop out. This is set of three. So this is the smallest one. I, I say it's the child, the father, and the mother. The trio. Timo. It's over there. I'm making a mess. Oh gosh. Here, right? Put it over here on the side for now, and then I made one of these little jars again. You know, I'm gonna have a million jars, right? Okay, as long as y'all know. So, we're gonna peel it down. I try to wear my gloves all the time because I have eczema, that's one thing, and then sometimes you demold and the things are like a little soft and you'll leave fingerprints so 
can see the two pores. I could always put like a some washi tape around it or something in gold. Something that says love. I got a whole bunch of those. I'll show you in a minute. Here's the little stopper for that little bottle. These are super hard to demold. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're like uh, real tedious. <laughs> I feel like I'm bending my nail backwards trying to peel this thing down. Because it's, it's narrow on the bottom and wide at the top. To try to get a good grip to like peel it back is it's quite difficult and then it's little then I got these silly gloves on it's the stopper and we put it together cute right okay we're gonna put that on the side and then I had this cat that I started a while back ago because I had some leftovers. But this particular mold is that super squishy mold. So you could just peel it out one, one two, three. Look at the cat. Meow. It's, it's really... It's smushy. The cat, you can see the two pores. Oh, I don't like that. It really gets on my nerves. All right. So we're gonna do the stand first. Right, here's the stand. It's a little rough around the edges, but you know, you know how to fix that. Here's the stand. Put that over there. Let's pop out the middle piece or the hanging ornament for the tree. We're not gonna we're not gonna show it yet. We're gonna show it all in, in, in sections. Let's get the tree out. Got the tree out. Let's start with the stand. You can see the layers. See the layers? Look at that. The little tree, the little bell. Joy. Now the joy, I'll tell you what I did. I put the joy facing me when it was on the reverse side. And, I, and then I looked at it, and I, I said it to y'all. I said, oh, I made a mistake. Wait, I'll be right back. And I pulled that out. Thank God this was still soft and, you know, really sticky, pliable. I peeled it out. I reversed it. I put it back in. I hit it with the heat, heat gun. I got all the little bubbles that were around it, and it worked out. I don't see anything wrong with it. This is going to be a long video. I'm sorry, y'all cute all right let's look at the tree you see the layers oh it's cute this is a heart i don't know if you can see it it's in silver remember i put that big giant snowflake on the top in gold What you think? Not bad, right? Simple. It's not overkill. And here's the ornament, the hanging ornament. This is a reindeer, a star, and a little stocking. So this is going to hang from the tree. So let's put it together. Let's see what it 
what it what it gives. Oh, not bad. And then this is gonna hang from here. Gotta get some string. I don't know, white, red. I don't know. Y'all tell me. And so I'm gonna leave this on the side right for now, and then I'm gonna show you the other ones that I've made before. So let's start with the green one. Here's the base. This is a star that I glued on to the side. And I'll explain why. And this is the actual tree. And see it's hanging from it. And this one I put lights. This one I didn't put lights. So, originally when I first made this and I put it on, since this is so thick, when it hangs, it made the tree lopsided. So I put this little star there. So when I put the tree on, it holds it in place. It gives it like a support. I don't know if you can see it. It gives it support. So that's the, that's the green one. I don't want to bump that because that's wet. <laughs> And let's look at the blue one. Because I made a blue one as well. Here's the stand for the blue one. And here's the actual tree. This blue one came out really nice. If I say so myself. I took my time with this one. Like I was really, really daunting and meticulous with it. And then we mount it. And this one, I made it a little thicker than the previous ones. I like over poured a little. So it's really snug in there. And I didn't have to uh, put the little piece to keep it standing erect. And the ornament, I didn't fill it up all the way. So I'm going to bring you down and we're going to look at the pieces. I'll do it slowly so you don't get dizzy. Okay. Here's the trees. A whole bunch of them, huh? Christmas in July. I don't know. I had a little snafu there. My camera kind of froze. Okay, I'm going to get some string and I'm going to string that up and I'll be right back. video thank you guys for watching talk to you soon till we make another video bye